All right. I'm going to take a 3,700. I'm going to take an ASA. Here's where I goofed last week. I was working with the hosts. I want to work with the clouds. Take a cloud and another cloud. This is going to represent my NIC, my 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 hardwired NIC up here, my laptop. This is going to represent the VM. All right. So I can change the symbol. I'm going to go up here to cloud one, and I'm going to make it my local area connection. Okay. And I'm going to go over here to cloud two, and I'm going to assign it VMNet2, which I made on Monday. That was the 192.168.222 network, if you guys remember. VM net two. All right. I'm going to go to my Windows 2003 server. Go back to Genus. All right. I'm going to just move a. Um, I'm going to connect this up. So which do you prefer is used for C1, the, uh, like something that's actually connected to the internet? Or? Um, you can. You can do it that way. That's fine. Um, going up here to manual, I'm going to connect the cloud to Ethernet 00, zero and Ethernet 1 to Ethernet 0 on the ASA and Ethernet 1 on the ASA to There's a couple things you can do with this if you need to download software, okay? If you come to your VM, you can, I have it already set on VMNet too. I can change it up here to NAT, and I can make it to where it goes all into the internet. I just have to set my IP parameters for DHCP. It's going to use the, um, the network of the PC um, to get out to the internet. It's going to get translated to the, the NIC, the DCP address that I get here on the NIC. Let's quickly demonstrate that. All right. It plugs itself, plugs itself back in.
So it's gotten its own IP from the VM network. Now, when I tried this at my corporate network, it worked. And it does. I get on the network. So if you do that, you can then go with the VM to my website and get this ACS trial. You can save it to the downloads folder. All right. And you can we'll get we'll get busy with that here momentarily. So you don't need to change the DHCP. It's got you have to uh, make sure you're set for DHCP. Now I'm gonna set this back to um, the VMNet2 network. Now, what I have to do is I have to go up here to the host, change the network adapter back to the who? IBM Net2. I now see that I'm on that. I should be able to, of course, ping myself. And hopefully my host adapter as well on the VM net, which is the, the VM virtual gateway. So, I'm just gonna leave him there right now, okay? And we are going to go to GNS3. And we're going to work outside to inside. Outside to inside. So, I know first that this network down here needs to be this, obviously. I know that my VM is about 10. And I know that my gateway is going to be dot two, which is going to be the ASA. We get to. Now the rest of it, I am just going to pull out of the air. This network here and this network here. Well, I'm going to cheat a little bit for this network. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to arbitrarily make this network up. I'm going to make it a. Um, Uh, I'll make it a 10 net. 10.0.0.0 slash 30. Now, here's how I'm going to cheat with this router. I'm hooked up to my, my net. I run into to some problems when I do DHCP. So I'm going to bring up my hosts command prompt.
And as you can see, I'm on the 134.71-239 network class C. I'm going to play around here a little bit. Make sure that I can get ICMP, which I can. I'm going to start pinging for hosts. I didn't get a 187. Go high. I'm gonna go like to 253, and not get a 253. So it's kind of it's kind of good because I'm I'm trying to hack this a little bit. Going to high 240s, low 250s to play around. So this is gonna be 134.71.239. This said that my gateway was 239.1. That's good. This is why 237 or 347 is so important, guys. And the networking aspect of it. And the networking aspect. Of it. All right. So now, from here, I know what address I'm going to make on my router. I know what address I'm going to make on my ASA. I know I've got to do some static routing in there. Um, I'm going to turn everything on. Router on. Mount command is so they can never remember it. First things first. Here's the ASA. Mount. Pack. See how my Ethernet port, ports, I don't have one of my missing here. Right, which were the name, if, and the security level. If you get this and you don't see those, you need to shut it down and restart it. Okay, you only have to do that once. And all I gotta do there, it out.
There we go. <laughs> All right, so once I, I, I need to shut down the ASA, and then I can bring it back up. back up. I can then reconsole everything. <coughs> and I didn't have to do the mount command this time. So if I do a show run, and you see I have my security interfaces all up there. So, ASA is set and ready to go. So, let's go back to R1 now. I'm going to set these two interfaces. Alright, so F00 is the outside interface on the 134 network. The add 134.71.239.250. Class C subnet mask. Myself, I can ping my host, then my gateway. Alright, so I see that I get a duplex mismatch here. Not full duplex. So what I want to do here is just type in full, it's hard to see, full duplex. I spell it right. Full dash duplex. There. Speed 100. Manually set. Up. So I want to ping myself 134.71.239.250. I can. Another thing that I'm not seeing here is I have not seen an error for a duplicate address, which is good. It means I'm not stepping on anyone. Next, I'm going to try to ping myself, which I am 186. And there goes. That's a really good sign. That means I now have connectivity from the router to me. Last step in this chain, chain is to see if I can ping my gateway, which I'm going to try to do from my host, which I can. I'm going to try to do that from the router next. Alright, well, that kind of bites. Excuse me. 